Welcome to Captivating PowerPoint Presentations for Educators, presented by Layla Dibble. Let's face it, our audience's minds are all over the place. So how do we compete? Today's tutorial will focus on four things you can do to create effective and captivating PowerPoint presentations. There are four components to creating a captivating PowerPoint presentation. First, choose a relevant design template. Next, keep your slides clear and concise. Your content should engage the audience. And lastly, practice, practice, practice. Pre-made design templates are great for a variety of subjects and grade levels. They make you look like an artist so you can focus on the content. Some even come with animations like this tree. Next, I will show you how to find design templates. Let's begin with the File tab. Scroll down to New. Here you'll see that most people choose a blank presentation, and in this case I'm going to suggest a pre-made template found in PowerPoint presentations and slides. As educators, I will suggest using an academic presentation. If you are a science teacher, there's a great one down here for science teachers, a great one for music teachers, but I'm going to choose one that I think is really well done for most elementary school teachers and I will show you how to alter it if you're a middle school or high school teacher. It is called the back to school presentation. So go ahead and double click on that. Now that we have a design template, let's focus on developing great slides. The first secret is that size really does matter. You can lose your audience immediately by using small text and visuals. As a rule, less is more. Each slide should contain no more than one main idea, one to two visuals, and four keywords or phrases. I commonly see presenters spoon feed the audience with sentences and even paragraphs of information. When the audience is not working, you've lost the engagement factor. However, when a word or visual appears, the audience wonders, what does it mean to me? They are eagerly waiting to hear your ideas and how you will relate it to them. That's one way to captivate your audience. So far we have learned how to use design templates and slides to captivate the audience. Now let's focus on engaging clear, concise, and relevant content. What may seem fascinating to you may not interest your audience. Putting yourself in their shoes helps you to relate the topic to their lives. The secret is to connect what they need to know with what they want to know. It's time to apply what we've learned to our PowerPoint project. Our template came with a complete presentation. All we have to do is change the information on the slides and add visuals. I also noticed that the text is a bit hard to read because the white text is on a light background. So I'm going to choose a darker fill for the background and increase the font size. Wow, that is much easier to read now. The next slide has several issues. First, it has white text on a light background. Also, it has complete sentences, and two main ideas. So I simplified the slide to one visual to communicate the main idea about raising hands. The All About Me slide has similar issues. It is more interesting to have some pictures to remind you to talk about your background, your family, and your interests. Showing pictures of your family makes you more human and less teacher. At this point, an elementary school teacher could continue improving the given slides. However, if you are a middle school, high school, or college instructor, you will need to delete some slides and add a few of your own. I would add at least two more slides, one for your grading policy and another for your contact information. In both of these slides, I used smart art to enhance my ideas. Here, the art clearly shows that tests are worth more than the homework. The next smart art is great for combining visuals and text together. This is a fabulous opportunity to use smart art. Select the insert tab and choose the mind map that helps you organize your information visually. The final component of a captivating presentation is preparation. My process includes brainstorming and storyboarding on sticky notes. Then I write a script and make a PowerPoint. Lastly, I practice with all the equipment and an audience, if I have one, or by videotape. This eliminates most of the common problems that could arise during the presentation. Let's have a great year and captivate our audience's hearts and minds. This has been a Dancing Dibble production.